Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to the stream, Clumsy Trucking today. Welcome back, Peter Built. Flying Scotsman, how are you guys? Thanks for being the early birds. I hope you can hear me. You're out of school today. And yesterday because of snow. Oh, it's that bad, huh? Stay safe, stay indoors. And uh, maybe just do some trucking. Hey, GT7. Thanks for joining. Lovely background. Thanks. Mount Fuji. Let me see. So for today, we have ETS2. We have Poland Rebuilding. A couple of people have been suggesting that I try it out. And uh, I think now is the perfect time to do it. Hey, Night Industry. Welcome back. Audio is okay. Good. Let me start the game and I'll show you the mods I have turned on. The mod order is a bit of a question mark. There is no clear mod order that was prescribed by Poland Rebuilding. They just say above pro mods. So it's not really that exact, but you'll have to test it out for yourselves. Hey Davey, welcome man. Glad you could very book join. So I do have the simple colored map for pro mod still. Google Map Night Navigation, Frosty Mod, uh, f Foggy Weather, and then I do have some other stuff here. I have the Real Company logo version 2.7 from Satan19990. This replaces the Pro Mods trailer and company pack. I haven't really tested how it looks but it does look pretty promising and this was suggested by Alex over at the Discord server. And if anyone wants to join, exclamation point Discord in case you're not yet there. So I removed the Pro Mods company and trailer pack. Uh, trailer and company pack. And I put that in. And then this is Poland Rebuilding. You know, I like how they made it. It's pretty... It's the first time I've seen this and it makes a lot of sense, you know. You have all these dev, map, media, models, assets, and sometimes you're not really sure what the order is. But it's pretty simple. What they d just did is they added a number on the image which says which should be the load order you should follow. And that's exactly... That's like something all mods should follow. Like pro mods, if you look here in Rust Map, you see all of them have the same icon. If they put a number here, that would make it a lot easier, wouldn't it? And that's just genius. Very simple thing, but very genius. I like it. But yeah, how I put it is I put it above the pro mods definition, above Rust Map as well, but the road connection I put above that because I, I tried it before with this below. And this was uh, the the road connection, like the roads were being cut from Poland to Russia. So I have had to put it above. But this is the same one that came with Rust Map 1.8. There is no special one for Poland rebuilding. Hey, the one, welcome. Scania Vita V8 sound. That's exactly what we have. Yeah, yeah. Previously, this was a part of Pro Mods. They fell out. Now it's a separate mod again. Yeah, previously it was separate, and they became together, and then now they're separate. It's like real life, huh? <laughs> Glad to be here. Greetings from a Helsinki covered in snow. Oh, I can imagine. Where are the mods? There you go. <laughs> hey, Alex. <laughs> Welcome back, man. Thanks for joining. Yeah, I think I do. Or I'm just the just the wrong uh, wrong timing of waking up. I don't know. Sometimes I have a cold in the morning. My sinuses are acting up, allergies and whatnot. You were driving around Dansk. Did you have the Poland rebuilding turned on? I hear that's a very good uh, area. I just saw in the the SES forum someone was saying the. Poland to Germany border, that area looked so good with Poland rebuilding, so we'll definitely have a look. It's huge. Or oh, is it? Let's have a look. Let's load the game. Hopefully this will be fast since I loaded this ago uh, already, yesterday. 
prepare to get lost. <laughs> cool. You have the same problem. Yeah, it's a bit irritating. Good thing is I don't have it every single time, but when I do, then I do. Oh, this screenshot looks pretty promising, huh? Polar oh, rebuilding hype. I love those trees. Th those look like Vive la France trees. It's big, big, big. Perfect timing on the, the music cutting off as we load the game. <laughs> okay, there you go. It's coming back. It's massively big. Okay. I am seriously curious now. Okay, good. It looks like it went through the the navigation thingy. Yes, okay, perfect. So we have the 4 series still. I just changed the skin to the clumsy skin that uh, Pokemon did. Thanks again, Pokemon. I love it. This is the same skin that we're using in the main series in YouTube. Just a few different looks, uh, a few different accessories, but mostly the same. Mark Armstrong Gaming, not really. Who is he? Let's have a look. Where is Gdansk? Gdansk is it here, right? Oh, that is humongous. Okay, alright. Uh huh. So maybe we should go there, huh? Maybe we can start from Krakow and then we can take a look around. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, I can see your name now. <laughs> Even if it's black, I changed my uh, window. So it's not in dark mode anymore. It kind of distort your, distorts your economy. Oh, why? Because everything is in Poland, is that it? Kenworth W900 long challenge. It's trying to drive the... You know, the, on the European roads. Okay. Ah, is it, is it, is it? interesting? <laughs> you were able to update to 1.30. Well, that sounds good. Finally. Yeah, I know the hassle of every time there's a game update, you have to update all your mods, check out which ones are working, and yeah. He mainly does ETS and ATS. He also has a nice setup. Ooh, nice. The name vaguely sounds familiar. What's his name again? Mark Armstrong or something? It vaguely sounds familiar, but maybe when I see the channel. Yeah. How about we go to Poland? <laughs> yeah, I want to stay in Poland if possible. Wow, Latvia. Bologna. I'll show you the map. So this is this was what I was talking about. If you put the Pro Mods Ross map connection below the Poland rebuilding, this will be empty. There, the connection will not be here. And, and maybe this one as well. But the connection between these countries will not be there. So make sure to put Pro Monstrous Map connection above the Poland Rebuilding Mods. Okay? And mod changes aside from new places. Well, it's mainly a map mod. So it will just change the places and add companies. So that's race and drifting games. I see. Thanks for the host day one. So many businesses, I see. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so let's have a look at the freight market. Let's see if there's a nice job. Ooh, why is everyone going to Lublin? Is that Lublin? Probably Lublin. Poznan, Dinya. Oh, that might be good. Leipzig? No, that's going way, way out there. I know, let, let's do a warm-up. Let's go from Krakow to Katowice. And then let's uh, check from there. This Bielsko Biala, is this part of Czech Republic? I can't remember anymore. It seems like it's on the border. It might still be Poland, huh? Right, good watch out. Thanks, Scotsman. Pro mods is required when you want Poland rebuilding. Rust map is optional. Dance crews that are like Barcelona. Okay, <laughs> that sounds promising but scary at the same time. Good. There we go. That's how the truck looks like. I like it. Pretty clean. Blue and white thing. 
and the the truck skin is paintable as well this blue you can change it to red or whatever you like and then the white part is a bit changeable not so much but it does look pretty sleek now how does that sound for you guys V8 Scania 4 with uh, Grishbom sounds windows closed. The one suggested by Rohan. Uses many of ProMod's assets, that's why it's a requirement. Ah. Yeah, that's a good question, Knight. Did you encounter a huge frame drop like in Barcelona as well when you were in Dansk? didn't seem to experience too many frame drops okay that's good that's good to hear i remember when i was trying to uh, when i was planning to try on poland rebuilding a few months back oh i just covered the traffic light entirely i think we're go now because that guy just went straight through when i was trying to when i was planning to try it out poland rebuilding i think version 2 Bricks from Pro Mods advised against it because he said uh, there were still a couple of problems, log problems, you know, red red uh, lines on the game log and uh, a bit unoptimized. I hope that's much better now. Streamlines and visor. Do I? I, I picked the stock though. Is this the streamlines and visor? Oh, is it? Hmm. I thought I picked the stock. Stock 2 or stock 3. Let's verify later. Once we go through a mechanic. You're running an i7 and GTX 1080. Well, you go. Hey. Okay. The job is gone. <laughs> Let's go here instead. Because the job we were trying to pick up is gone. I always forget to check the expiration. Wow, look at all the look at all the designs here. From Cast's trailer pack. Beautiful, isn't it? And I saw one that I really liked. Where was it? Oh yeah, we can also go with the tandem setup again. I'm just not sure how the paint job will react with it. That one looks pretty pretty good with our colors. Venisla transport. Yeah, let's go with that. 20 tons. Now, I'm not really sure which parts are Poland rebuilt or which are parts are pro mods and which parts are default SES. So we'll just have to check it out together and uh, guess. What is your comment? Let me see. Try the Kenworth W900, long challenge. Um, I'm not really fond of, as I mentioned before, Peterbilt, I'm not really fond of trying American trucks in European roads. I don't think they fit. I, they're kind of an Im immersion breaker for me. So I would prefer if I drive American trucks, I drive in the US as well. I don't know, it just doesn't fit my taste, you know. I like it to be realistic as much as possible although I do understand that if you love American trucks which you do that challenge might sound really appealing to you not too shabby not too shabby I love that trailer awesome looking thing your screen froze hope it's fine now had lots of FPS issues in Barcelona. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think anyone has no problem in there. I think everybody has a problem that cannot be avoided. Okay, let's go here to... Oh, how the heck do you pronounce that? Kielce. Probably not. I probably just butchered it. That 
junction looks quite interesting though. Let's go through that. Let's go through the mechanic. And let's double check our... Uh... Actually, there is a mechanic right here. Uh, let's go double check that here. Oh, interesting. What kind of thing is that? Under construction. And then let's go and uh, pass through here. Go for a break. Yeah. And pass through this city. Like so. Yeah, that looks like a more exciting route. Alright. Manual. I'm driving in manual. There are some American trucks in Europe in real life. Oh, really? Ah, I didn't know that. Can anyone, can anyone confirm? Like, can you see a double 900 in Europe? On a regular basis? Or is it, like, legally possible? And some people did it, but just, like, 1 out of 10. I would have thought they were, like, could have been illegal or something. Or they might be legal, but they might be very limited in what they could haul. Because they're very long, and I think Europe has very stringent length requirements. So if you buy a truck, if you get a truck that long, your trailer couldn't be as long anymore. Not regular basis. Yeah, I don't think it's practical. But yeah, you could probably do it if you're really a fan of American trucks and you can live with the trade-off. Oh man? Okay, next time. Get it next time. Time is it? Uh, 9 a.m. I guess. It's rare to see an American truck in Europe. Yeah, it, that would figure. Your browser froze too. Hmm, strange, must be a Twitch problem. They mostly done the northern parts of Poland in 2.0. Ah, okay. Okay, then we should head immediately to the north. But seeing as I don't really know what this mod is all about, I guess most of the areas we will see is new to me. That might not be exactly true. Because uh, I guess at some point these areas were merged with pro mods, right? Oh, there we go. Speaking of American trucks. That, this one's for you, Peterbilt. This one's for you. That's a W900, right? I wonder why we get those American trucks here. It looks so out of place. Right, so if we look at this one... Oh yeah, I did pick the streamline stock. Good catch, man. It should be this one. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good catch there. That looks too modern. This one is a bit more box type. Perfect. Alright, let's do that then. The infamous Pro Mods error. How the heck did they do that? I mean, how did that become... How did that happen? So there are American truck models inside ETS2. And they kind of used the wrong thing. Don't really get how that how they made that work. W900L in the UK. Wow. Was it also on the opposite side? Like was it also right hand drive? Is it true that SES is working on implementing TX11? They said they had plans for it. I'm not sure how far they are. And uh, they said performance probably won't improve anyway, even with that. That's what they said before. I remember they were doing, someone was doing like an ask me anything kind of thing on Reddit. And someone asked that and they confirmed that they are working on it. But not to look forward to, not to expect which performance benefits. They were supposed to show up only in Russian Pro Mods areas, but show up parked all over. Ah, I see. Okay. So that's a Pro Mods thing. So, why in Pro Mods Russia? Is that... So does Russia have these American trucks in real life? Is that a thing for them? I guess it would work with how large the roads they have, huh? 
I mean how how large the area is. So maybe for Russia it does work. Can I squeeze in guys? Wow, smart guy. Look at how <laughs> I love the left turn AI logic. It's just <laughs> so smart. <laughs> No, I don't have Kenworth W900 mod. It's part of the Pro Mods pack, I guess. If not, from the base game. Hey, Lucas. Yeah, man. Welcome back. Long time no see. How have you been doing? It was just like an American one. Ah, I see. So they probably just directly imported it, huh? Interesting. We need lights. Let's turn on lights. Doesn't hurt anyway. There are apparently American trucks in Russia. Ah, okay. I see. Okay. Yeah, hopefully they fix it in the next version. Thanks for the host, Bear. Varshava. Car incoming. I think we can drive through. Thank you. Who was it? It was Chris94, I think. He commented about the gear shifting sound of this truck. He said it sounded like seagulls. Is it seagulls? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Do you guys agree? Let me shift and let you hear the shifting sound. That one. Does it sound like seagulls? Well, let's take a photo later. Uh, somewhere. Cab overs are the only ones allowed in EU. I guess the... The traditional trucks, the long-nosed ones are still allowed, but you'll still be limited by the length. So you can't have like uh, an American truck and a like a full-length European trailer because you'll be over the the length uh, regulation. That's what I think. But you can have like uh, an American truck without any load on or a very short trailer attached, maybe. Which isn't practical because why would you do that, right? Why limit yourself in terms of having a load that's longer? Here, Russia have lots of American trucks in real life. Oh, so maybe that's why. I, li I like these roads. They look too perfect though, I think. Oh no. Uh, too much braking. It's a Scania 4 series, yeah. Scania R4 series. Scania does make a few trucks that have a nose. The Scania T. They don't make it anymore though, I think. I don't think they did it for the late, the, this newest generation. There, there are some existing, but I think they were custom built from what I heard. They're not official. Or correct me if I'm wrong. Whatever that place is called. In EU have lots of uh, rotondas, roundabouts. That will be a problem for long hosters. Oh yes. That's very, very true. Lots of tight corners as well. I don't think American trucks would fit pretty well here. Yeah, they, they used to have the T model. Not anymore, exactly. Well, uh, we haven't really seen much yet. So far, so good. But honestly, I, I'm not sure what I'm seeing. If this is Poland rebuilding, Pro Mods, or default SES. But... Uh, 
everything is good so far I like the variety I drove through several new cities when you were driving earlier I couldn't pronounce one of them yeah <laughs> yeah that's uh, Poland for you I'm not sure maybe Davy can help I'm not sure Davy if you're familiar with Polish pronunciation let us also refuel because I'm almost empty so where are we should be exiting here so let me just glide through save a few liters roundabout yes I like that what is that the center looks like some like a set of logs or barrels maybe yeah this might be Poland rebuilding I don't remember seeing this before in promotes these kinds of uh, railings sure <laughs> thanks Davy <laughs> hey Shane no problem no problem man hope you're doing well you're against people making European trucks for ATS. Yeah, I'm also not a fan of that. Keep the European trucks in Europe, keep the American trucks in the US. That's how I look at it. After all, we have both games available now. Your name packs don't help with the pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a different mod altogether. So this is probably the sign of this place. Maybe the main industry in this place is logging. Ooh, nice truck. Can we take a photo actually? Not sure if this would be a nice photo angle, but we'll see. Let you drive cars for ATS and ATS2. Some people like to drive cars. Well, yeah, it, it, is, a, it is a driving game, so it is. Some people do like it. Hmm. Okay, I can understand where they're coming from. Actually, it looks quite good. If you remove the blur, give it a bit of an angle. There's a cross. Polish people are Catholics, yes, mostly. Very nice view. Yeah, there's a new special transport route from Polar and Rebuilding. I saw that one. Can't remember where it is though. Looks like grapes. It does, huh? From <laughs> from a certain angle, it really does. Let's refuel here. Stop by and grab a snack there. Looks pretty interesting. But yeah, this is what I like about Poland Rebuilding. When you went through some areas before, they were pretty unique. They were pretty customized, you know. They were alive with variety, so to speak. It didn't feel like just template objects. It felt like every building was different. Or almost every building was different, at least. Here we go. Let's go out of the truck. And refuel. Wow, that sounds different now. Sound fixes changed that? That sounds different. The, 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 the first point when you put the thing inside the, the fuel gauge, the fuel tank. Seat belts, keys. Don't need Italy yet. What does that say? Service. Oh, there's also a service area here. Yeah, there it is. 
pretty nice, right? Yeah, pretty unique. So the the building, the layouts are definitely different compared to the normal, the usual layouts that we're familiar with the default game. That's what I like about Poland rebuilding. They don't just use the prefabs. They take an effort to customize it, put in something different. You're for so you so as long as it's American, you don't you don't it's okay. Regardless of where they are. Yeah, I get you. You are a huge fan of American trucks though. That makes sense. Yashovnia. Yashovnia? Uh, where are we? One sec. Yashovnia Okay, it's not listed here. Alright. So it's a small town probably. It's it's is it is this one of those places where they said they're not it's not in the map but it's there? Maybe, huh? Sound fixes back change that, okay. That figures. Reason that there are so American trucks mods for ETS2, that ETS2 has been a lot longer. Yes, exactly, Peter Belt. Because there was a time when ETS2 was there, but American Truck was not yet. So people who loved American Trucks could only place them in ETS2. So they first modeled and put their mods in ETS2. And then later on, ETS came out and then they transferred. But some people kept on uh, making it. So, so yeah, that's why. That's why you have American Trucks in ETS2. A lot more at least. Rather than the other way around. How big is the Poland rebuilding file? It's not too humongous, I think. 500 MB, 700 MB, if I remember correctly. Nothing too dramatic. I hope I didn't miss any message. Softened a lot of sounds with this new pack. I'm not sure if I like that. I kind of like the very loud sounds. But I guess this is more realistic, so let's give it a go. Let's try to see if it blends better overall. <laughs> All hail Nightbot. Yeah. No... Uh, no links allowed by default, sorry. But just ask permission from Alex so he can verify if the link is valid and he can permit you. Last Sunday, you were playing ETS2 and you had a close encounter with running out of fuel down to 1 liter and 2 km range. Wow, cutting it close, huh? <laughs> well, good thing you survived that one. You need to hear the engine. Well, yeah, you can always use S interior volume. You can only always use S interior volume. Because you don't have to. So the, the engine sounds will be, will be louder, even if it's a European truck. Turning right to... How about that one, Davy? How do you pronounce that? Kielce. Maybe. Kielce. Night mo moves in mysterious ways. That was not a link. Oh, okay. That was not a link. Maybe some, you put some columns in there or something. Some dots look like dot com dot something. <laughs> I like this. Slow down a bit and let it glide. Because of the dot, yeah, most likely. the engine volume fine for you guys? Let me know if it's too soft or right. Can I squeeze in, bro? Thank you. That's what you call crash booms shifting. <laughs> right. Love it. Love that sound. Oh, 
perfect timing. Yeah, maybe when you put a dot and you don't put a space after, it, it thinks that's a link. Hey, Brayden. Uh, what do you mean? I didn't do it, that's what you're asking. Pull and rebuilding is the name of the mod. It, and it's in the mods list. Exclamation point mods for the link to the mods list. Pull and rebuilding should be there. As well as all the other mods I'm using. It's class me. <laughs> I remember you class me. We are going somewhere in Poland. Uh, the place is called Lublin. Like Dublin, but it didn't help. Ooh, nice train. Wait a minute, let's take a photo. That is a nice train. I guess you meant Bar Davy, huh? <laughs> truckers who have Peterbilt and truckers who want Peterbilt. Oh, from the Peterbilt fan himself. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? Oh man, that feels like a city right there. Now we just look like a, a guy who's... We look like not the main actor. We're just a, an extra in this picture. This feels like Crane Simulator. Hmm. Let's go and do that. Yeah. It's actually pretty nice. Pretty unique. Some interesting events near Gdansk. Not sure how I should feel about that. Should I be scared? Is it safe? <laughs> ah, you thought I was actually rebuilding Poland. No, I'm not. Don't know how to map. I don't know how to mod. It's the name of the mod. You always honk the horn. How do you see a fellow Peter built in ETS2? Are there AI trucks? Oh yeah, I think there's an AI American truck back from Jazzy Cat. Hmm. Not exactly on the line there, but it's fine. I mean, no pathograph race. Saying pro mods and Poland rebuilding should really get back on working together. Should work on other map areas. Yeah, I don't think it will work though. I think they have very different work ethics and they're just not meant for each other. So they'll just have to agree to disagree and work like this. I'm pretty happy with this, you know, being an add on. Maybe the, the, the most they could do is pro mods could say. Poland rebuilding is part of the supported mods. You know how they have it like they have a load order in their site, in their pro mod site, where they list down the supported mods, supported map mods like Scandinavia, Paris rebuilding. Then they could say Poland rebuilding is also a supported mod, and they could put in the, the load order there as well. Maybe that is enough. I'll be I'll be pretty happy with that if they do that. Even if they don't like combine forces because they they have very different priorities what's that guy doing is his car broken or something there you go american truck back I, I i know i remember that and i didn't download it exactly because of that reason i didn't like seeing american trucks in europe looks like a train with textures from a cutout paper <laughs> Well, you have high standards, huh? Train horn sounded like someone stepped on a cat. <laughs> Maybe that's how they recorded it. Hope I hope not. You were using a JC American AI pack. Chassis cat, okay. 
and one American truck was going through a slip road and the nose of the truck completely went through the barrier ouch yeah that's what happens you try squeezing an American truck in European roads am I speeding? yes I am is this? Oh, someone got caught because someone was driving a Kenworth W900 with a full-length trailer. See what happens when you try to do that? You thought trains have loud horns, not all of them. Some of them are pretty squeaky. I think the modern ones especially. I remember Squirrel was uh, streaming the Train Sim World new DLC and they had this train in Germany the, in the S-Bahn line and the, the horn was sounding like those popper things from parties and if it's train sim world maybe that's a realistic sound huh why would they put in like a popper party popper sound if if it didn't reflect the real life horn slow down a bit not too comfortable with this setting yeah, slow down a lot. There we go. Just glide through. And go. No panto equals no power. Thank you for following. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're enjoying. Feel free to say hi in chat so I can call your name. Random events, yeah. No panther equals no power, except power is transmitted through train, wheels, tires. I like the random events here in this map. There are so many. The map feels so dynamic. Sounds painful. It indeed sounds like it. Good morning, your truck. Welcome back. I'm sure you feel right at home with the game we're playing. That's because German trains rarely use their horns ever. Oh, is that it? Is that their culture? I would have thought they were pretty fond of their horns. Because they're pre pretty uh, straightforward, right? I mean, they're pretty... How do you say? The, the stereotype for a German is they say what they want they're a bit more on the blunt side so i thought they were if they wanted to sound their horn they would what do you call sad coffee okay i'll bite what polar rebuilding yeah promotes and polar rebuilding 50 in this place. Oh, my bad. There you go. Stick to 50 then. Two questions. You have to put pro mods on top in like on top of each other. I think around 500 MB Poland rebuilding. And yes, it does require pro mods, so you have to put pro mods first. And then you have to put Poland Rebuilding on top of Pro Mods. If you download the Poland Rebuilding file, or actually if you go to the link that I showed that is in the mods list, the first thread, the one from the author, there is a link there for the load order when you're load running with Pro Mods and Poland Rebuilding. It's not there though, there is nothing which specifies the load order if you have Rust map as well. But if you're only playing with Pro Mods and Poland Rebuilding, then there's an image which you can follow. <laughs> they only use the horn for warning people or for emergency. Ah, okay, so it shouldn't be too loud. I guess that kind of makes sense. Why is it 50 here all throughout? It feels weird. It feels like this should be 70. But there we go. That should signal the 70. Yeah, okay, perfect. Alright. Depresso. I think I'll be Depresso with that. 
All right, Shane. Have a good night. Thanks for dropping by. See you again soon. As a guy who has over a thousand hours on Train Sim 2018, you know where train stuff mostly. Ah, that figure is your name itself. It's a train, right? A flying Scotsman. I'm gonna go do it now. Good luck. Good luck, Raiden. Let us know if it works. Paris City Building is very good. It's quite small though, it's just Paris, but it's really good from what I've seen. I haven't been there myself, but here in game. But yeah, it is. It looks pretty nice. Alex can tell you. Very good, there you go. Nothing like blowing diesel fumes on people dining outside. Yeah. Why they place them del some themselves there, right? <laughs> they were asking for it. I actually didn't check the Poland rebuilding. Some guys, uh, delivery guys looking for some very specific places getting lost together I guess huh? I actually didn't mm, check the files of Poland rebuilding if they had climate files inside and if they did I should have removed it but I'm not sure I, it seems like we still have foggy weather skies so I guess it's wor still working gliding through oh there you go snow hype indeed it is huge fanatic of trains since you were young well I envy you I didn't have a chance to be a train fanatic because there were no trains where I was from or let me let me correct that the trains did not look as exciting from where I was from. They were like, to put it bluntly, hunks of junk. <laughs> hey, Dead Press, been lurking for some minutes now. Can't say any, can't stay anymore since you have to catch some food and stuff. So that your map symbols are different. Google Maps, yes. It's the Google Maps mo mod from the Steam Workshop. You can download it and uh, your GPS will change. Not only the icons, but the GPS itself. It will be colored blue. And the speed limit will be on the right side of the GPS instead of on the left. Slow down, bro. Oh, slow down too slow. If that makes any sense. Okay, maybe let's yank that wiper up a notch. Okay, fine. Not very good for sightseeing this weather, but that's what we got. Who's eating? Oh yeah, that's dead press. Enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy your dinner or whatever time it is. Enjoy your food. visit Japan to see many different trains yeah, and the Japanese trains are also very nice at least the ones I've seen yeah if I was living in Japan I probably would have enjoyed trains I really enjoyed my time there what's my opinion on the Logan Paul situation I haven't really delved much into it. I only know the basics. But a lot of different things came up because of that issue. And they said that some people say that 
the latest YouTube regulation is because of that Logan Paul situation. So I think what happened, or then correct me if I'm wrong here, if you know something more, is that a lot of people made money on that Logan Paul video. Like they re-uploaded it. Some small YouTube channels re-uploaded it, made a lot of money from the views. And they didn't want to promote that video at all, right? So it was a bit uh, of a bad event. So they said that's why they came up with this new regulation of needing a thousand subscribers and uh, four thousand minutes of watch time before you can turn on monetization before you can be a YouTube partner I guess it's not a last minute thing that they thought about this they must have been thinking about this for quite some time but as my as, a, as one of my friends said it, it's probably the the straw that broke the camel's back this Logan Paul situation you're from Canada but your passion is for UK and some German trains. Ah, nice. They also have some trains in uh, Canada. Is that a trainy country? You thought they took them all down. Anything involving Logan Paul was their like poster boy of YouTube. You know, I didn't even know him. So I'm not sure about the Logan Paul thing, but I do have more of an opinion about the latest regulation from YouTube. I know a lot of people are hating on it. A lot of the small YouTubers got affected. Thankfully, we're not we were not in scope for that change but to be frank I kind of like it I kind of like that change needing a thousand subscribers and 4,000 minutes of watch time I read the article that they put out and their justification for it their reasoning and it makes sense to me they said like 99% or was it 99 or 90% 99% of the people who had less than a thousand subs and less than four thousand views or four thousand minutes were not earning more than a hundred dollars and ninety percent of them were like earning I don't know ten dollars or less but something insignificant so it's not like they lose their livelihood if they lose the ability to monetize so it shouldn't be that big of big of a deal and what, why I like it personally is because this effectively removes the trolls and the channels who just copy and re-upload videos. It would be much harder for a channel to make money out of it. They can just create a new channel. They, just, they cannot just create a new channel and uh, get videos from other people, upload them and make money immediately. They have to reach that thousand subs first in four thousand minutes and I, I think that's a very good check because i was personally a victim of what the, those re-uploading channels before i'm not sure if you guys were here then but a couple of months ago i had one uh, viewer comment about it he said did you know that this channel and he gave the link is re-uploading your videos and i hated it you know, the feeling that your hard work is being stolen and being made um, like a profit by someone else, it just irritates me. Eventually, I, so I, I got some requests, I talked to YouTube, they eventually removed the channel, you know, but that's all manual. What if you're a bigger guy? Like, I was, I, I'm a very small YouTuber. But what if I'm very famous and you have like hundreds of people who do that to you? How do you battle each one of them? So this actually protects the legit YouTubers in my opinion. 
prevents those kinds of occurrences. And now I'll read the comments to see if there were any there any violent reactions. Uh, I think I overstayed a bit. Why are people honking but no one is around you? I think it's the train that's honking. <laughs> you have some trains, but mostly freight. Ah, I see. Where you live, you have a semi-huge train. Well, that's good. You wish, Nightbot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mr. President. I am honored to be in your company again. <laughs> The new rules also favor YouTube. Yeah, that's true. On my on your sleeping time, I'm coming online. Ooh, are you from Europe? I guess you are. Unless your sleeping time is 8 p.m. 3 p.m. should be able to do one more job before sleeping. Let's try and go northwest. There. That looks good. Maybe we can find something else even. I would like to go to Gdansk. If that's how you pronounce it, even. Kokola. Lehav. You're from Europe. Ah, uh, makes sense. Oh, we could go here to Olchten. And that might be a stone's throw away from Gdansk. And then maybe we could hug this northwest side. I guess there are some new areas in there. Yes. It's a bit urgent though, but um, we should be able to make it work. Because this one seems a bit oh, more off. And this one we get to at least go through... Mlawa? I think this is the new area in the latest version, right? And we also get to pass through Farshava. Or we can reroute and go through Radom, which seems like a new city. It's actually 8 p.m. there. Eastern time. Yeah, nice. What is the song playing in the background? Um, right now, it's called Breakable Nature. It, these are all part of abstraction music. You can check out the link below, abstractionmusic.com I think is the link. Oops. But yeah, I'm a Patreon. I like pay a, a dollar a month. And I get access to his entire library, all the songs that he's composed. It's awesome. It's an awesome guy. And it's uh, all of them are YouTube friendly. So it's perfect for a content creator. Hey, Jack Spanner. Welcome back, man. How are you? Phew. Very bad weather. Is this how weather is like, guys? Where and where you're from? Is this how it is right now? Oh, did it even see the truck? What the heck? <laughs> is this guy parked? It's, yeah, it, it, it must be a parking because of the, that line. Yeah, okay. Let's go and overtake this guy then. No problem, baby. <laughs> Pretty much Helsinki earlier today. Wow, that bad, huh? You remember the Sleepy Time Betty Bye song that was on the playlist? Yeah, the, the like the lullaby thingy, right? I think I removed that already. <laughs> it was a bit too slow. <laughs> It's a bit too chill. No, no snow in London yet. Wow. That's good to hear. Or is it? By the way, can anyone check the Discord server and check how the delivery went for this job? What my fuel economy was and the, the damage that we got? I would be interested in seeing the fuel economy. 
specifically. If I did any better. We got around 9 inches last week. Wow. Actually snowing but not much currently. Well, I can say here it's not snowing. <laughs> yeah, with this weather, you really should be staying at home. A cup of coffee, hot chocolate, or tea would be perfect here. Just reading a book, trucking, sleeping, or whatever. Man. Just looking out the window. But then again, you probably won't see anything out the window anyway. Oh, that guy is brave. Must be a journalist or something taking photos of this weather. Fuel economy 41.8. Ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> Man. Alright, let me try and focus more on my fuel economy this this round. When was the last time I played an FPS? A couple of weeks ago. I bought Borderlands 2 actually. I started playing it again. But I haven't played in maybe in a week. Because I'm too busy. But it's a great game. One of my most favorite games. Probably my most favorite FPS game. Because of its RPG elements, its humor, and its replayability. I like Borderlands 2 more than the pre-sequel. I'm not sure. I don't like the pre-sequel too much. I don't like the story, don't like the humor, don't like the characters too much. McDonald's. Where is it? Did you see it? I missed it. We were night botted. Really? Yes, I have your skin. Good man. Welcome back to the stream. Thanks again. Let me show you your skin. Okay, can I squeeze in? Thank you. Can't even see the road here. Okay, now I can show you. That's your skin. Beautiful. Love it. Thanks, man. Good morning. One sec, I'll show it better. Once we turn here. Yeah, there you go. Comes the geek skin. Old school. We're going right here. And we have a Kenworth again. Wow, what is this? What is with these American trucks? Actually, I'm not seeing any European trucks at all, huh? Is that like the problem? Like all the trucks are US? Wow. Skin links are on the Discord server. Actually, you might get lost, but the skin links are also in the mods list. So it might be better if you look at the mods list. Look at the paint job section. All the clumsy skins are there. From Pokemon, from Matty. They're listed all there. American Tracer are so much cooler. Shots fired. Okay, let's go with this. Let's take a... Oh, that's a pretty interesting looking trailer. So gooseneck is how you call that. I, I find that very hard to park because they're too short, they're too sensitive. But that's what fits the the truck, the color, more or less. So let's try it. Can tuna. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Nice to see real trucks. DHL. So this is part of the real company. I'm not sure if you were here, <coughs> if you were here already, uh, Alex. But I tried your recommendation, the real company mod by Satan 19990. Looking good so far. 
Although to be honest, I'm not sure how compatible it is with the pole I'm rebuilding. I haven't gotten any crashes yet, thankfully, but keeping my fingers crossed. That actually looks pretty nice. It's a bit long, but it, not too bad, huh? Not too bad. 790 MB. Okay, 790 MB is the size of the Poland rebuilding um, file. 400 over 790. Good luck. Crash Boom is awesome. Definitely agree. The best. <laughs> you said it, Knight. No, it's not actually this map modder. It's part of the Pro Mods bug, which adds these American trucks. It's not intentional. It's a bug. RJL's uh, CISO truck mod. I haven't. I have seen Squirrel drive it though. But it is, it's very much like a, a Renault inside. But yeah, I'm not opposed to trying it. I like the sounds, mostly. It's like a Renault Premium. It has a different exterior. Good morning, Mac. Welcome. How are you? Oh, look at this guy. Overtaking. First time I've seen a guy overtaking to turn left. Actually, first time I've seen a guy who's on different lane and moving to the right lane last minute, to the correct lane last minute. Interesting. Why hasn't Project Balkans been updated? It has. It is compatible with 1.30 now, I believe. It's an add-on to Pro Mods as well. I'm just not sure what has been changed, but I've seen it. Well, I've seen it in the, th the forums. It is compatible with the latest version. Southern region, I think, is the one which has not been updated. The best bug you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people will disagree, but to each his own, right? Promot's bug is just those scanwords part of normal prefabs. Mod that adds in Freightliner Century. Uh, what happened? It plays one of the Volvo trucks. Oh, I, I wouldn't want that. Going to Varshap. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We might be able to go right here. Ferry route and go through Radom. Let's see. Is it good? Let's see, let's see. If I go through there, yeah, it should be fine either way. Should be fine either way, and then we can go through here. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Then let us... We'll still go straight, I think. Yes, still going straight. Good. Who's a mod? Alex is a mod. What are you trying to post, Brayden? Yeah, you'll have to tell us what you want to post first. I can't remember if I put it in the chat rules. Can you can I, can anyone check the chat rules below and let me know if I put in that you can't post links by default? I can't remember. I know I didn't have that before and I told myself I have to add it so that people will know right off from the beginning. But I can't remember if I managed to do it. Finally, the snow stopped. Thank you. Oh, I like that ad. Actually moving like that. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's one of the unique things in Poland rebuilding. Very nice ads. Very nice uh, billboards. Okay, there it is. Okay, good. At least I didn't, for I didn't forget to put it. Thank you.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, conflicts will arise if you have a very strong feeling towards something. It's unavoidable. Someone will feel the opposite way and you guys will come into conflict. So if you have very strong feelings towards something, just be prepared to for that. Just be prepared for that. Like what's happening now with Peter Bit and uh, Pokemon. Ooh, very nice. Very nice view. There's a floating tree there though. But minor details. Oh, floating trees actually. Minor details, minor details. That might be a frosty mod incompatibility. Let's chalk it to that. One. It's there. Thank you, Alex. Nightbot needs a bigger data set to learn which set of characters are links in or not. Yeah, I guess. It often gets things correctly though. I think you're the only one knight who had a like a, a false positive when it comes to links so far, huh? So far. Like most of the other people who have been blocked temporarily are because they really posted links. They actually downloaded and tested out that old school Veco truck, yeah. Not bad of a truck with Krish Boom sounds. Oh, does it have Krish Boom sounds? And maybe I'll try it. I was mostly reserved because I was thinking maybe it doesn't have very good sounds. Should have a second look about it. Thanks, man. Ooh, I love this place. This is how Alex gets his uh, high fuel economy. Just cruising along like this. It's not on the mod list list that it was updated. Yeah, it's not. It's not on the mods list yet because I haven't downloaded it yet. But if you go to the same link, I think then you should see that it is updated. You can double check if I have the right link there. Very strange texture. You only take downhill jobs. <laughs> yeah. Must be your secret, huh? Yeah, I kind of figured Peter, but just wanted to trigger someone. I am liking these logos though. Very obvious logos. <laughs> it does have pitch boom sounds perfect. Giving each other a hard time is part of trucking. Not so sure about that. Foggy, no, this is frosty mod. Foggy weather 2.0 is about the skies. It's like mostly skyboxes and adding some fog. Frosty mod is the one which actually changes the things to winter. Thanks, Brayden. Yeah, sorry, I haven't updated the mods list yet. But when I do download Balkans, I will. I was mostly, actually I was planning to do that today as well, for today. But then I, I was not so clear on what changed. I mean, Pro Mods now has the Balkans area included in Pro Mods 2.25. So with Project Balkans, they might have added a city or two. But I just thought maybe it's not that big of a change. I want to test it though, but maybe just not now. No, my only reserve there is it might not work. It might not... Um, how do you say? I might not notice it. Oh, I love nice weather like this. Such a pleasure to drive compared to the one when it was snowing. How do I put the Project Balkans thing in Poland as well as Pro Mods? Um, it's a bit hard with Poland rebuilding. There's no clear cut way. But I, what I would suggest is if you go back to the mods list and look at the map section 
there is a link there which points you to a pro mod site on top of the map section and it is the suggested load order for all the pro mods files and all the map mods that are supported or compatible with pro mods so from there you'll know how to load pro mods with rust map with southern Re with southern region well it's not compatible yet project balkans Paris rebuilding um, scandinavia scandinavia mod but poland rebuilding will not be there so i suggest you follow everything there but you squeeze all the poland rebuilding files under the pro mods rust map connection and then put the pro mods dev file under the the, the polar rebuilding it's a bit tricky you can also go back to the first part of this stream i'm not sure if you can do that but the first few minutes of the stream i showed my load order so you can you can review there as well if you're using rust map put the rust map connection file above all else exactly yes and make sure to put the pro mods dev file under the poland rebuilding otherwise it would crash at least it did for me most of the trucker won't buy them yeah i don't think scania is a very big brand in the u.s i'm not even sure if it's being sold there hey rohan Welcome back, man. How are you? How are the, how was school? Still busy. Almost birthday, boy. All right. Someone's excited for his G29. Just two weeks left. Oh no, it's going to snow again. No. Let's have a look at the speed here. Six hours. Okay, we cannot sleep. We just have to plow on through. Um, this stop I think is new though It does seem like it but I'm not sure if that's from Poland rebuilding or if that's from The real companies real company logos There thanks a lot thanks that's one and Alex That's the one that link is in the mods list as well if you look at the map section the actual maps name or this road is cutting off if you look at the the maps the text itself just look at the right columns there is a the link is there above all the map mods doing some studying just taking a break fair enough Enjoy your break, Rohan. Get get a breather. I think you'll try a Poland rebuild tomorrow. Hey, Mata. From the UK. Oh, nice. Thanks for staying up late. Sorry about the timing. Enjoy it. Where are we headed? Oh, this must be the Warsaw, uh, the airport near Warsaw, huh? Wow, it's cutting it really close there. Look at that! Yeah, there's the airport. Beautiful. Oh, that's a beautiful scene. Seeing the plane from the beginning to where it lands. That's just wow. I love that. I think that's one of the most that's one of the best plane cameos I ever I've ever seen. History is awesome. <laughs> Math bio and history test. Wow. Good luck man. Phew. Which one's your favorite there? Math bio or history? I personally would like math best. Bio worst. I'm very bad at bio and very bad at memorizing things. History was your best class. History, I'm okay. Country music. Figures. Going to cut off again. 
why they do this to me why have these kinds of intersections playing too slow yeah it was nice exposure though it was nice exposure i like it hey wilbert welcome back doing good doing good hope you're doing fine as well no idea Braden. it's ready when it's ready as they always say they don't give hints when that will release though i'm not even sure what's in scope there except for maybe some special transport uh, routes history and geography one of your passions man i suck at geography but i do love this intersection let's take a photo at the top right there in the middle this looks beautiful wow Jesus. when we're over everything like that that would be the perfect is it here I think her variants are very similar oh nice nice to hear that's cool man it's cool oh look at that view oh, I think we have our thumbnail right here look at that view not the signpost but voila beautiful let's take one photo How about if we make it wider? Will that look better? I don't think it will. I think this one looks as fine as it is. Show a bit of sky, a bit of the road. And those curves, those bends just look so good. Love it. Poland rebuilding. don't feel safe well we are playing european truck after all so i guess a lot of european truck fans around around here they're fixing the hidden wall on the on the way into spain from france in 2.26 ah okay good hey tamariel welcome back man oh nice Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Glad you enjoyed them. Let's go resume. Surely getting a Scania shifter from Almar SKRS. I think so too. I think so too. I'm just not sure when. Because I, I just actually bought a new monitor. Because I, I'm not sure if you guys know, <clears throat> but we're planning to buy a... Uh, I'm planning to build a new PC, but for my wife. For Mrs. Glumsey. So remember I had an upgrade a few months ago The old parts are all still there and I was planning to sell them off, but I didn't get the time I haven't gotten the time to do that yet but then she Said that she wanted her own PC and I, I thought well, I have my old parts here. They can we can make a new PC like they they're almost a full PC We just need casing a power supply an SSD and a monitor and windows so I'm building her a PC from my old parts and the monitor I bought that's going to me the old one will go to her <laughs> so I'm basically getting an upgrade for my monitor so at least my I have two monitors right now my old monitor will be replaced and I'll have the same model for both You remember J and B trucking back in the early days with this too. J and B trucking, what is that? Wait a minute, is this the one? I don't think it is. Wow, these roads are really confusing. I like it. Mrs. Clumsy trucking. Oh yeah, that can be a thing, huh? Yeah, we can play multiplayer. She can play with the controller or something. That can be a thing. Because I asked her already. Once you get your PC <clears throat> and we, we start playing some games, are you okay streaming it or recording it or something? And the people will probably see you at the back. 
like her desk is right there at the back so the PC would be there and then she said yeah that's fine but she she just won't be speaking because she's still shy so but yeah maybe we could play some multiplayer games online while streaming at some point so if you have any suggestions on any multiplayer games trucking might be one but I'm not sure if I can convince her that that might be a thing I don't know Minecraft Terraria or some other co-op games she used to drive ATS yes for a few hours and she she kind of like spent 30 minutes parking the truck <laughs> and then eventually she didn't drive anymore I think she just wanted to try it but was not really into it Mrs. Clumsy gets a GTX 1080 Ti wow I wish she gets my 970 but she gets a better casing though we'll, we'll be buying like a cooler master case for her and it's going to be a more modern than mine and it will look a lot better a lot lot more uh, fashionable you can tell her to buy you an SKR shifter and then you can build her a PC <laughs> good trade I can actually ask it for my birthday hmm Might be too cheap for my birthday though. <laughs> Just kidding. Frosty mod. Frosty mod for the snow and foggy weather for the skies. So a bit of both. Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. I remember we used to play Minecraft with her laptop. Her laptop is not so powerful, but it can play Minecraft a bit. And uh, like we built the house, we did some dungeon reading, and she kept she kept uh, she kept uh, blaming me whenever we die, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Put the camera on her. <laughs> well, I definitely agree there, Alex. <laughs> if you watch Jeff Favignano. Favignano and Bay Area Bugs came up. Okay. Ah, okay. I didn't really watch that, so I wouldn't know Peter, but. Yeah, doesn't ring a bell. I want them to do more. That's cool. Maybe I should check it out sometime. But I never get the time. Too much to do. So many things to do. Yeah, using both. Surprising. The wife gets the more fashionable one. More fashionable one. I know, right? <laughs> Actually, I think I could have convinced her <clears throat> to use my old casing instead because she doesn't really mind. She just wants a PC. So technically, I could get the new case, but it just feel I just feel bad about it, you know, just getting everything new and uh, giving the old parts to her. So I want her to have something new, so at least the casing. That should be hers. That should be brand new for her. So she could she can really feel that it's a new thing. But the monitor, I'll keep the monitor. Because I, I want the new monitor. I need it. But the deal is I pay for the monitor. And she pays for all the other parts. Because that all the other parts will be hers. We're planning to buy her the parts this weekend I've been trying to contact the PC dealer but uh, they haven't responded yet they're a bit busy I think I can wear her old earrings <laughs> yeah that would probably be the best analogy for that call her and ask her to play a bit <laughs> oh she's at work only thing is if we were to stream something it would be a different time because this time this time normal streaming time is something with uh, it's a work day so she has work she's actually not here anymore she went out a few hours ago so if ever we stream together it's going to be probably night time for us so it's probably probably be it will probably be morning for US folks and afternoon for European folks. But no no definite time, no definite date, no definite game, no definite anything. It's just 
Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> it would be cool though, wouldn't it? It would be pretty exciting. Trucking would be awesome. Yeah. I know, right? And they would crash into each other. <laughs> but we can play in the Hong Kong server. Yeah, that would make our, our, our latency pretty nice. And since it's the two of us playing, it won't be that bad. And if anyone wants to join, then they can also join. But you have to join the Hong Kong server, so... Might not be very good ping for you. Uh, have a good one, bear. Sorry, didn't see it immediately. What the heck? Look at that guy! Did he... Did he run him over? No, I didn't hear anything, so... <laughs> but yeah. That's something only... I guess Poland rebuilding would do. Insane. Should have taken a photo of that rabbit. I hit the Easter bunny. But it's not yet Easter, so. <laughs> he shouldn't have come out. What the heck? I think the guy is catching me for running the rabbit over. Streamlabs OBS. I heard about it, but I have no what idea what it is. What's it all about? Have a good night, Peter Build. <laughs> That's good if you could stop hating on European trucks. I'm sure the people here would appreciate that. But thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Catch you again next time. I like those flashing che chevrons as well. I really like that. It's pretty cool. Why are the lamps following my... Hmm, they're turning on as I go. I've heard of Streamland. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's great going to try it out tomorrow. What, what features are there, Rohan? What does it do differently from OBS? Is it like a software? You see, I didn't drive it. Yeah. I think they're after me for that. <laughs> It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm innocent. They didn't hit him. They didn't hit it. They didn't hear a sound. Why don't I have a CG hat yet? You mean in real life? Maybe I should have, huh? I have to get it made though. I'm not sure where to do that here in Singapore. And it will be quite expensive, I guess. Because labor here is very expensive. The bunny police. Ah, so that's what it was. Streamlabs OBS. I, I, I can't click it right now, Rohan, sorry. But yeah, I'll check it out after. But maybe you can tell me something about it for now. What the heck is that? Nice billboard. Full on TV. Gives a new meaning to Bob Dailing. Random event again. It's up here. Nothing really. Maybe the construction on the side of the road. Okay. So from here, let's glide. I think that should be a pretty big deal. There we go. Random events in ETS. Well, random. They're static events. But they look random. So I like it. It's Poland rebuilding. It's something from Poland rebuilding. Nice warning. What's my time right now? 9.40 a.m. Singapore time. TC plus 8. Tartak. 
it saved 25% CP usage and also RAM. Wow. Really? A lot of things to choose from. Wow, okay, I have to try it out. But is it does it replace OBS? Is it like a an, an entire replacement for OBS? Man. I wonder if it's from the same creators, if it did like a tie-up or something. I'll check it out. Thanks, man. That sounds really promising. I'm excited. 1.40 AM there. Whack. <laughs> Rip. Ooh, looks like something happened over there. Oh, not really. It's just a... Oh, yeah, it is. Is that... GPS. Then why the lady... Why the naked lady? <laughs> just to get you to look brave, probably. Maybe a burglary or something. You can copy your profiles and put them in Streamlabs OBS. Sounds perfect. It did work with some OBS guys. That's pretty awesome stuff. I'll check it out. Thanks. Doing some midnight trucking. Yeah. 140. I don't survive that long anymore. I'll be sleeping like a baby by then. Where are we going? There we go. Whoa, where did this guy come from? Why is he parked there? Is he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Super weird. Okay. It's a bit dark, so I'm not sure where I'm going. And I think this should be good. Uh, I think it's a bit too much again on the left, on the right side. But we should be able to correct it, I think. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It's a bit too much. Let's see, maybe it will still accept it. Yeah, it will. Okay, let's let's take that. Peter bits of blocking. Yeah, I'm not sure where it came from. Yeah, CPU usage by 25%. That's a huge game changer. That will even help me. And maybe we can like get a better setting there. Keyboard keyboard is not always doing what it should. Uh, two forty two. Oh wow, okay, that's even later. <laughs> Not working this week. 4 a.m. if ever. Wow. Good luck, man. Yeah, hopefully not. Olstein is the city where they have the special transport. <sighs> really? Maybe we can do something. I only have a 6x4, but I won't mind. Yes, it is. But that's going the opposite way, though. But let's sleep first. Uh, let's see. Is there anything going to the west? Because I do want to go to Gdansk. I want to hug the coast there and explore those cities. I think that's that has something great in store for us. Leipzig. Uh, only for streaming. Oh, that's too bad. I was thinking it would work for recording. Well, I guess it's recording that needs the most change. We'll see. I'll check it out as well. Let me know if you managed to try it out earlier. That's cool. Bido Gosh. Bido Gosh. Hey. Two months. Thanks a lot, Cheng. Wow. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, man. Clumsy trucking. 
Thanks for the reminder, Alex. Yes, please do join, guys. Look at my fuel consumption. Is it good? Wait. Subfam. Oh yeah, Ron is part of it. Let me look, let me look, let me look. Deliveries. Ooh! 30.67! <laughs> so that's the secret, huh? Downhill. <laughs> right, right. Wow. So that works. Beautiful. Sub hype. How come I stopped using the HV symbols mod? What's the HV symbols? The immersive symbols? Um, why did I? I think partly it was because there was a new game update and I disabled it for some time. And then after some time, I just didn't see the point in putting it back. I like the, the white lines, I like the, the floating icons, I, it, that, I don't mind it that much. And um, I, why I hate it mainly, the thing I hate about it is it's, uh, it doesn't work for every establishment. Some of the sewer plates which replace the, the floating icons, they're hidden. So when you come across that place, you can't find the pickup point, you can't find the, the thing. So it's even more confusing so it's a bit like i don't really lose much if i have these floating icons and the barriers the barriers which re they remove the barrier signs well i always get lost when they're not there because it's really confusing with the gps like, like you thought you could go right but apparently it's a blocked road offer expires in 74 hours yeah i think with special transports they have a very very long expiration date Thanks, Mr. President. Honored that you are here. <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah, good luck, Rowan. So, what kind of jobs do we have? Young coping and spills cross snow. We don't have anything exact, I don't think. But I'll sleep and let's see if there's something that pops up. Helsinki, look at this, Davy. Nice. Nothing here though. Does it bring new trailers? I don't think so. I don't think so. It brings new companies probably. Or adds a lot of different companies. But not trailers themselves, I don't think. No problem, Mr. President. Have a good night. Catch you next time. Appreciate you hanging out. Wow, that guy just didn't stop. Just went on straight through. Yep, one rebuilding is back. After a long hiatus. Many, many, many new companies. <laughs> yeah. I blame the AI. He's the one who didn't stop. Although I did pull out a bit prematurely there. He should have uh, had right of way. 2.1. Hey, Kevin Arthur Hopkinson. Did I read that right? Welcome to the stream. Dansk is insanely busy. That's where I want to go. I want to see for myself how busy it is. That's all where all the action is. Looks like how humongous that place is. Roads and business. I like that.
And all American truck skin. Oh, actually, there is something. I think there's some Rick there. That's nice. See you guys in the morning. Yes. Beautiful sky. Thank you, foggy weather. I really like the low RPMs. Yeah, I like the, the fuel consumption, fuel economy. <laughs> That's the in thing right now. Oh, there we go. There we go. 26 tons, empty pilots. Going to Dansk itself. Or we can get this one. 61 tons. Wow. Well, that's even better, right? Let's go with that. Loco. Something a bit more different. Not very good for heavy cargo with this truck, but we will manage. Not so empty. I don't know. Maybe they have some kind of contraband in there. You got lost by trying, trying to take the ferry at Gdansk. Wow, if you guys get lost, then how will I manage? Whoa! Wrong range. And this is why you need the SKRS shifter. The Almar shifter. The Scania Almar shifter, maybe. Good. Peter will jinx this game. <laughs> yeah, I think it's his doing mainly. Just drive automatic like you. Too lazy to shift. <laughs> yeah, I used to. But Alex influenced me to go back to manual. It is a lot more exciting to be honest. And gives you a lot more control. But yeah, sometimes you just want to appreciate the scenery more so yeah night version night version all the way i like more i don't like so much than the normal version of the google maps mod it's a bit too bright for me and the colors are not too uh, visible in my opinion good discounts for what Aaron? I think I missed your message. There's our trailer and it's, uh, there's a humongous truck blocking the way. Why the heck is this guy parked here? What if that was our trailer behind him? Insane. Okay, let's take this guy. That looks like a zigzag road. Okay, how do we attach here? I guess we have to attach at an angle then. How does he have the places in different colors? Uh, what do you mean? Different colors in the map? Well, there are only two colors for places, the yellow one or the gray one. It's yellow if you've discovered, gray if you haven't. Is that what you meant? Wow, look at that map. Look at that map. Did you guys see it? Look at how complicated that is. OMG. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, it, this looks like an exciting road. Got to do homework. Alright. Good luck, man. Enjoy. Try to enjoy it. Where's our guy? That's our guy. Blue, red, yellow, and so on. It's, uh, I think it's part of Polar Rebuilding what you're talking about, the different colors, the, f the different icons. They added a lot more icons in there. The density was disproportional to the rest of the map. My bad. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. They are kind of ruining the economy, huh? Actually, I'm a bit too much on this side. I can actually afford to be not too sharp. 
that, yeah, this would work. Yeah, this can work. This, this is no problem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the truck again. It's shaking with fear, did you see? It's shaking with fear. There it is. Clumsy is right next to me. <laughs> the one safe with Clumsy around. Good thing the driver was not in his truck. Well, I blame him for parking there in the first place. <laughs> it's his fault. Trying to block the road like that. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, that serves him well for parking like that. That's what you get. Kenworth is cold. <laughs> He's not used to the weather here. Peter with strikes again, I know, right? Wow, even if he left already. The curse is everywhere. Dance to the left, yes. Pull his kingpin. <laughs> you got it, nice. Wow! Oh, I forgot. This is 61 tons. Okay. Cannot skip gears on this one. And I'm not expecting a very nice fuel economy here. So we really have to hold this thing hard. You know in the delivery log, one thing that's missing there in the delivery log, it should also say how much you're hauling, how heavy you're hauling, because your fuel economy would change, should change, depending on that. So to put it into context, it should show how much, how heavy was your load. All right, Raiden, enjoy. Hopefully it works. Good luck. Have fun. Catch you next time. Heavy haul hype. Oh yeah, we need beacons. Beacons. Almost hit that car. <laughs> Let's take a photo. Let's take a photo here. Yeah, the map has to have high priority. The Google Maps. Otherwise, you would not see the red, the blue line, rather. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, doesn't that look fancy? Man. That's Instagram worthy right there. I think Matza was referring to the Google Maps mode. How is 480 horsepower of V8? Well, maybe in the 90s it was. <laughs> maybe in the 90s that was the limit, I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's accurate, isn't it? I also like these uh, uh, cat's eyes, is how you call them, on the side of the road. Pretty nice attention to detail. I'm enjoying this. It might not be even, might not be fair for other countries, a bit biased towards Poland with the, all the jobs and economies, but I am liking how this looks. It's pretty detailed, pretty different, pretty unique looking feel. <laughs> I wouldn't either, Jack. I wouldn't either. Haul 
ett toilet. You like this because Poland was kind of boring before. That's true. Yeah, I agree. Whenever I have a chance to go, like Poland is nice, but only in some parts is it exciting. In some parts, it's pretty plain looking. This mod just makes Poland alive everywhere. Oh crap, I think I'm gonna hit the rail. Or oh, no, I didn't, thank you. Phew. I made the wrong turn there somewhere. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Poland, I, I skipped, I mostly skipped Poland before. Especially with the default SES, I skipped Poland. I mainly drive France, Italy, Scandinavia. The others I try to skip. With Pro Mods, Poland became better, I think. But I think there are still a lot of uh, air, are, there are still a lot of areas that haven't been changed. I'm not really sure. Oh, this is a really nice place. Full on McDonald's in there. Oh, wrong lane. Yep. Nice castle-like thing there as well, like a parish within the distance. You put Paris in, in with Scandinavia add on another day. Yes, they're both nice as well. Scandinavia I've seen already from Chris94, it's beautiful. Paris I haven't, but based on what people are saying and showing, I would like to check it out sometime soon. I hope there's no polish here. Why? What did he say? We're saying Poland is nice. <laughs> now that Promot is tackling Poland himself, eventually it should be very good. Ah, yes, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Poland just isn't in a very developed uh, place yet in terms of pro mods working on it. But it should eventually. But what Poland rebuilding team has done, I really like it. Even look at that detail, huh? Look at that detail. It looks so unique. It doesn't feel like it just spam on some prefabs in there. Every place looks like it's really well built, like handcrafted. And then we're gonna get the Singapore DLC. <laughs> Poland is boring. <laughs> Not the real Poland, just the default map, right? Just the map in the game. To be clear. Oh, don't jump! Don't jump, bro! <laughs> what the heck is that? No, maybe they're just chilling. Yeah, maybe they're just... Uh, they just want the thrill. Paris is very nice with the Eiffel Tower. Yes, they added the Eiffel Tower. Finally. Beautiful. Grimes did. Chainsaw hype. Where's Chainsaw? Didn't see it. So boring they jump off bridges. <laughs> Ooh. Jackhammer. What is that? Is that like a... Trains. Ooh, trains. Nice. not jumping it's just admiring the bridge through a unique vantage point yeah he's just admiring it from behind right facing his back on it facing his back on the river <laughs> I think pro mods pro monstrous map in Poland rebuilding are one of the best map mods out there I think I have to agree I'm really enjoying this I think I might include this in the in the main series because right now we are in Estonia and we'll be passing through Latvia most probably and then we'll be passing through Poland. So by the time we pass through Poland, I think having Poland rebuilding in there would be perfect. Would provide a very entertaining drive. This map is at least as good as Pro Mods. Yeah, I think so too. They're very different, yeah? Very different styles, very unique. Um, way of looking at things but they're both equally good this map is amazing look at the roads there with all the damage yeah it's the imperfections are what make it really nice and the how 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 
how lived in they make the cities like the people walking the cars parked on the side you know it's just really nice work making the place feel alive lots of roadside detail that's it oh southern region yes it's too bad it's not compatible with the latest version or is it I, I haven't seen an update for it I hope it gets updated soon Southern region is one exciting map so many different uh, interesting points never a dull moment drive that dirt road again <laughs> oh I remember that that's a disaster yeah hopefully it's still working same guy's working on it okay that's good to hear that's good to hear looking forward to the update EAA is a lot of old prefabs not sure if they've updated much I've never tried it but I have I, hmm, is that the one I didn't hear good things about I can't remember but I just wasn't uh, hyped enough for it oh crap look at that braking beautiful <laughs> but I was actually quite nervous there I think you saw on the promotes forums they are around 90% finished to the new southern region wow okay all right we'll feature that on stream for sure when it's ready and we'll go back to that earth road or any other new roads that they introduce that dirt road <laughs> yeah that was insane you used to have Turkey running with Pro Monstrous Map Project Vault Balkan. Ah, I haven't tried it. Turkey one. Okay, these guys look a lot safer. They're just taking a photo of the beautiful scenery right there. The other guy was really ju jumping off, I think. <laughs> Did I try the dirt road in Rust Map? I think so. Yes, yes, I, I remember that. We, I did. I did try that one. I think I have an episode with that exact thumbnail where the truck was a bit like a few inches a few feet under the water because of that like swamp or river is that what you were referring to first time we went there in the peterbilt 389 truck got stranded took 35 percent damage you mean in the swamp The Great Steps. I think I tried the Great Steps before, but I can't remember how it looked. I get confused with all these Russian mo maps. I think I'm mixing some of them up. One with the insane amount of mud and ditches and holes. Yes, I remember that. Yes, I did drive through that. That was a very exciting part in Russ map. Very unique, definitely. One of the most unique areas I've seen. Look like the look like spin tires, right? A Kamaz would have been perfect there. I think I was driving an MAN during that time, an MAN TGX. Can't remember exactly. Oops, sorry, wrong gear. Too much. I streamed the great step map but it didn't get far into it. it. It didn't leave a large impression on me. I think I vaguely remember it. Not too much. Couple of new cities now and 1.0.3 as well. Oh, nice. Is the Great step, step the one that reaches into the border of Asia? Was it? 
Kazakhstan was it? I can't remember. We are here, Dansk. We haven't gotten lost yet. That's a good thing. Had it working. I had to jump to Turkey though. There was no road connection. Ah. I think it was when new Pro Modes came out, so you jumped over to it. Ah, okay. Might be. Yes. That might be. It got overshadowed by the new Pro Modes release. Maybe you should try it again. Kazakhstan. There we go. Kazakhstan. Right. trucks here. Where are you all going guys? Are we near? Yes we are. 12 kilometers. Oh. Was a while ago. Uh, the Turkey one. I see. Great step connects to the Russian Saratov Engels area and moves eastward into western Kazakhstan. Nice. Yeah, maybe we should give it a go again at one point. Alright, have fun, Cheng. <laughs> no problem. Enjoy. I haven't played in a week, I think. I'm still there, in the beginning area. Not even entered Sanctuary yet. Which character are you using, by the way? I think I'm using the... What's his name? Oh, like the Roland, but for the sequel, the one with the gun turret. It starts with an A or a B. Your first time using Maya. Ah, I had a Maya character before. She was awesome. Yeah. Works well in groups as well, I think. Doing an elemental build, yes. I think that's what I did before as well. Elemental build. Kita Logistics. That looks like a very nice trailer. This looks like a nice view. Let's see. She's amazing for focusing targets down. How does multiplayer work in Borderlands? I've never tried it. Like online, online. I've played with friends. But I think it was more like a LAN simulation type thing. Not really online. It's not too bad. Not as scenic as I would have hoped. But maybe if you'll include the road like that. kind of works <laughs> crashing in Warsaw rip wonder what could have been different it's just instance someone holds that everyone gets that person's quest line Right, I think I remember this part. And you just play the game as it is. And there's like a matchmaking session. Like you just, we don't have to know anyone. So I don't know a lot of people playing Borderlands still. And I guess you'll have to follow the, the latency of that guy, right? So if he's far away from you, you'll be lagging. The host wins. Don't play with the laggy host. <laughs> Go, bro. Thank you. That's a pretty nice looking logo. PKO. Very creative logo design. 
like a cylinder. Wrong range. Wrong range. Right range. But now we're too slow. Oh, look at those buildings. Whoa. In terms of city realism, I think I still like more the how pro mode cities look like. They look more real for me. But in terms of making the place alive and adding all those funky things and the, all those unique things like the signs and everything, I think Poland Rebuilding is very good at it. Where's that SKRS when you need it? Yeah, work in progress. I wonder how long the shipping will be. But when I do get it, if I do get it, I should learn how to shift, like how a Scania truck would shift. It's a very weird setup, right? Because I'm used to the Eaton Fuller transmission setup, and the Scania transmission is like, what, th only three gears? Per range was it? I don't know. It 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 looks so weird. What's this song? It's called Masquerade by Abstraction. Welcome back, Rohan. Oh, that was quick. Done with the homework already. Birdlands is amazing. I love it and have been playing it for years, but never multiplayer. Same here. I've never tried multiplayer with other people I don't know. I played with my brother and our friend, but not so much. We got uh, we got, got a bit far though. It was really very nice playing with other playing with other people. Very interesting. First gear is straight back. Very different one. 18 speed Newton Fuller. First gear is uh, fourth gear in a traditional normal car. Is that it? Does seem weird. I saw someone get the Scania one the other day. It was nice bit of kit. Cool. Where did you see it? Fastest man for homework. I hope you have the right answers. You put the right answers. Makes for some interesting shifting. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Alright, Jack. Have a good night. Thanks a lot for hanging out. Don't forget to wash the rabbit off the wheels. <laughs> it would have uh, probably been swept off by now. <laughs> and no, I, I still refuse to admit that I hit the rabbit. I didn't hit it. Going to be so confused when you get the wheel. Oh yes, definitely. But you will still be loving it. You'll drive worse for a couple of days, probably a couple of hours at least. But then once you get used to it, you won't let go of it. Yeah. Oh, pop, 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 pop. He's a YouTuber. Uh, maybe it's Driver Stein. I think Driver Stein got the Almar SKR shifter, right? Right, Rohan? When you get in your car and drive, you keep trying to hit the engine brake. And you end up <laughs> turning up your radio. Oh, yeah, it's in the same spot. Yeah, I can imagine. Thankfully, I haven't uh, mixed them together quite well yet, quite bad on that level. But I guess I can imagine you could after a few more hundred hours. He did an unboxing video on it. Cool. So it looked good, Matza. Oh, MAN shifter. Okay. Driver's time got an M and shifted, I see. We're 
we're close? Yes, we're close. See? Yeah, the, the parked vehicles, the people hang out on the side. Very lived in. It's very nice. Hey guys, I'm streaming from Rio Scania. <laughs> I hope when I hope I hope if that day comes, it's not like real comes clumsy trucking. Soft driver's time. It's okay, Matza. No problem. You can you can tell the name. I don't mind. I promote other people here as well. Like I freely mention Squirrel, Driver Stein, who, and whoever it is who deserves the credit. I don't mind. Is this a roundabout? I think it is. Yeah, looks like it. Or maybe not? Oh, it's an optional roundabout. <laughs> okay. My bad then. Time for 30 minutes of backing up and swearing. Well, 30 minutes of backing up, sure. Maybe not swearing, <laughs> but backing up probably. Almost swearing, maybe. Oh, railroad crossing? Yeah, let's follow that. Couldn't get it. Likes your computer. Which one? Poland Rebuilding? Mark Armstrong. Ah, someone mentioned him a while ago. Yeah, someone mentioned him a while ago. I should check him out. Wait a minute. Where the heck is that guy? Did he pass it? Oh, I think it's there. Where's the entrance? Almost doesn't mean it will happen. Well, like they say, almost doesn't count, right? There was a time where you used to swear a lot. Now, not so much as I used to. Yeah, exactly. Ah, Rohan, you mentioned him. Uh, okay, I'm lost now. Not sure how to go there. Let's turn around and see. Oh, rip! Oh, okay. We passed through the tubing. <laughs> okay, I thought we were going to get stuck there. He got it sponsored off them. Wow. I wish I could have that power. <laughs> Where is he from? He bought it. Ah, okay. Where is Mark Armstrong from? Let's turn right here and let's see how this goes. Maybe we can turn around here. It's where you adapt to the environment. I think it's the same with me. Depends on who I'm with. Like if I'm with my college friends, then probably. Because that's the kind of language we got used to each other. Um... Am I stuck? Did they hit something? I hope not. I think I hit something. Um, not really. So why am I not able to move? Mine first gear? Yes, I am. Mmm, diff lock help, let's see. Not really. He's from the UK but lives in Scotland. Nice. Cool, man. Not 
sure how I got stuck. But maybe on this side, maybe if I turn left here, could, could work. Or maybe not. Maybe this wasn't the best U-turn slot, huh? Oh man! Okay. Wait, distribution is off. Um, would a diff log fix that? <laughs> it's been clumsy. Yeah, it had to happen. Let's try. If we can get ourselves out of here. No? Not working? Right. Let's remove the trailer. Oh, we're free! Yeah! <laughs> Look at that! Hmm, so how do we do this? Let me see. Let's cheat and fly. Well, we might be able to work around this still. One sec. Let me try something. Ow, 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 ow. What if we go straight through here and use that as the reverse instead? Yeah, I'm um, somehow like that, Amaril. I'm somehow like that. When I was younger. Um, that was wrong. <laughs> yeah, just leave the trailer. Don't complete the job at all. Okay. Why are we not coming through? There we go. Don't back the trailer up, or you will have a locomotive boat. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. You swear in Russian. <laughs> what? A bit of role playing, huh? Okay, let's try that again. This time, hopefully, a kind of a bigger area to play in. Maybe. Um, this car might be collateral damage. Oh, actually, we actually missed it. Nice. I hope I don't hit the car there. We will see. Okay, looks good. That looked good. Perfect. Okay, great. I'm happy. Okay, so at least we made it without teleporting. I'm happy about that. Okay, let's stop here. Thanks, bro. And my engine died. <laughs> Gotta take the role play to the next level. Good. With 45 years of age, you get more relaxed. With age comes wisdom, right? Normally, hopefully. Not everybody, but <laughs> many do. There we go. Okay, now we shouldn't miss the turn. Where the heck is the entrance here? We're still waiting to get smarter with age. Well, at least you have the fuel economy, right? Hmm. Oh, 
I think the entrance is there, right before the turn. Have I ever played without the speed limit? I think I have once. Didn't enjoy it too much. It's uh, good for a different purpose, not for uh, relaxing. Maybe it's a good substitute for GTA. Is that where we're delivering? Quail and Angel? Yes, it is. Okay, that's the entrance. Confirmed. Problem is, how the heck do we fit in there? And will my trailer kick at the back like this? It might just... Just have to bear with it. Okay. We actually fit in. Nice. And uh, where are we parking this thing? Not yet, Rohan. <laughs> don't have time though. And I don't think it's available in our Netflix. Hmm. Very strange. Okay, I have to reverse like from here probably. Where is the line? I think the line is on the left. Uh, yeah, it's there somewhere. Can't see it too much. Ah, there it is. There it is. I think I might be a bit too late in here though. Might hit the trailer on the side. My truck is dancing left and right. Okay, there it is. And stop. Turning a bit too fast. Okay, let's correct this. As always with these trailers, steerable axle trailers, I find it really tricky to park. You prefer The Simpsons? Package of TNT when you were younger. Yeah, I can imagine. There you go. Bob's Burger is great. What is that? Is that a show? Or is that lit a literal burger shop? Oh wow, look at how much it's turning, that is insane, will it work like this, will you let me go with this, Let's see. oh it won't, crap, getting so restless you need a wheel, <laughs> soon, soon Rohan, soon. That work? Okay, that works. I hope. Couldn't make it straighter than that. There we go. Alright, that works. Very interesting drop off point. Thought this should be heavy, and you bet. I can park it. Wow, I don't have those, those uh, achievements yet. Interesting. Literally just sitting in your parents' house collecting dust. <laughs> you can probably earn a couple of bucks there. RG27s are a bit expensive now. They're a dying breed. Cool. 
Alright, maybe we can take one more job before we end the stream. Maybe somewhere in this place as well. Route length. Oh, we can take the ferry. That can work. Kalmar. What is that? Holstein. That's where we came from, I think. Poznan. Yeah, this is the only one, I think. Empty pallets, 26 tons. Yeah, the heaviest empty pallets ever. I think we can do that. You can see how the ferry looks like in here in Dansk and Gdynia. Let's try that out. 13 hours. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Less than 200 hours used on it. Wow. Yeah, you, you should be able to fetch quite a price there. The G920 is awesome as well. If I had a choice between G29 and G920, I'll probably get the G920 just because it looks more real. The G29 looks more like a, a game gaming controller. The G920 looks more like a steering wheel. But here in Singapore, I don't think that we have the G920. At least I haven't seen many of them. Or any, or any of them actually. I only see a G29. So if ever my G27 broke, I think I'll be going for a G29 as well. Ooh, that guy almost hit me. If I didn't evade him purposely. Let me have a look at the delivery. How I did on that heavy haul job. Wait a minute. Where is it? There's nothing? Oh, because I... Yeah, it, it didn't... It didn't log the job. You know why? Because I detached the trailer. When you detach the trailer, the VT log thing gets confused. Bob's Burgers is an amazing show. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah. We got it for that reason. The GG29 has a PlayStation logo on it. Yeah. True. Enjoy, Rowan. Good luck. Good luck with the exams. Ace your tests. Do we have fuel? Yeah, half half fuel. Good. Have a good night, man. Catch you soon. See ya. Hmm. That's a pretty nice looking intersection. It's actually like Roundaboutception. I saw that place. I think was that in the UK or somewhere? Like how many roundabouts there were? Like the, the biggest number of roundabouts ever. Like once you leave a roundabout, you enter you immediately enter the next one and then enter the next one and the next one until you get to where you're going. It was absolutely confusing. I'm not sure. I can't imagine how anyone can drive and not get lost over that place. You guys might be familiar with it. it I think it's a very famous place. Like the worst, like the most complicated roundabout ever. And what is that? Oh, it's being built. I think the bridge is being built by that crane or is it just floating out of nowhere? Nah, it's it's under construction. Yeah, okay, good. You bought a button box. That's an extra button and a key. Ah, nice. How immersive. Yeah, for me, I'll just probably stick with my keyboard though. I don't mind it that much.
it's in Birmingham called Spaghetti Junction. Oh, there you go. Birmingham is in the in the UK, right? Yes, that's where, where we're headed next. So from Estonia, Latvia, Poland, Germany probably, Holland, Belgium, maybe France, and then UK or something like that. But yes, I want to go back to the UK. And in the main series, I haven't been to Ireland yet. So that's something I want to cover. Middle of UK, I see. Yeah, the Spaghetti Junction. Has anyone driven there in real life? Because it just looks insane. I I don't really know how you get to how to get where you're going. I need to stop here. Well, the, that guy didn't stop. <laughs> Craving more earrings. Modern box for me. Maybe a, sh a shifter first, yeah. Maybe an Almar shifter first. What about ATS? What about ATS? <laughs> ATS is not so lively right now. Not a lot of things going on. We can go back and check out Viva Mexico. But currently there are so many things happening in the ATS2 world. It's way better to keep on top of it. And then when something comes out in ATS, we go there and check it out. It's an awful junction. What the heck is this place? Construction zone. Ooh. Okay, 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 thank you. 10 times more active for ETS2, exactly. Exactly. You deleted it. You've deleted it quite a long time ago, right? Just slightly confusing roads. And make your way up north towards Iceland. Yes, that's a good plan. We haven't been there a while and there are a couple of new roads. A couple of new cities in there that I also want to explore. Sounds like a good deal. Skanska. Is this the one? Is this where we're picking up stuff? Oh, I think it's the other one. If I follow the GPS, then it's the other one. I'm not sure. I think it's this one. Oh, it's actually a no entrance area. Okay, rip. Oh, it's back. We're back. I thought the game was going to crash. The most confusing driver ever. <laughs> you paid 40 pounds for your button box. It has 10 buttons and a switch and a key on it. Wow. Sounds awesome. That must be really immersive, huh? Where is the darn pick up point? Oh, there it is. Yeah, like I mentioned, very unique pickup points. It's like, why would you put it here? Oh, I think that's our trailer on the left. We learned all about it in school. Junction is infamous. Yeah, that's why I heard about it. Even if I'm way, way out here. AG and transport. Let's go with... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Gray one. You hit your keyboard. <laughs> yeah, the GPS rolled me. I, I think it has a lot more crawling with Bolan rebuilding because the roads are so uniquely built. But the GPS is having trouble recognizing them. That's where we turn. Ow! My bad. I blame the snow. It's 
Somehow I don't think that will work. Oh, it did. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Davy. Have a good night. Thanks for all the inputs. What the heck are those? Humongous cones at the back. Looks like missile heads. Flat missile heads. They're 2D. Look at that. <laughs> Why are my beacons still on? I need that. Good night, Davy. Catch you next time. Thanks again. I'm using a 480, a V8-480 engine. Back to a classic box trailer. I cannot see my side mirrors at all. I'm going to hope I'm not going to hit anything. ETS2 for 5 euros. Man, that's a steal right there. That's just what, spare change, right? And you get to play for hundreds and hundreds of hours. Wow. I have to go left here, looks like. Okay, let's take a photo there at the top the bridge looks like we have to go on the bridge is this the way I guess huh I hope this isn't the wrong way oh yeah I think Scania truck driving simulator is what two dollars or something like that even cheaper right I haven't played that game yet everybody's telling me I should What's a nice photo? Where is a nice photo? Maybe here. Here? Oh, that's nice. There's a, like a stadium there. Stad Stadion Energa? Dansk. <laughs> that's true, Sheng. But it's all up to you. <laughs> yeah. It's a trap. I like how 3D the snow is. Maybe wider. The bridge is kind of getting in the way. We'll probably leave it like that. Oops. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's an incremental trap. It's an incremental addiction. You don't know you're hooked. And then start buying these accessories one by one. Till it becomes a real hobby. Yes. <laughs> wow, that looks like a very exciting road to drive in. Is that a roundabout? It is a roundabout. Okay, let me stay here on the left. Looks like we're going to go around over on the other side. I don't see any car at all. Good luck to you guys if you hit me. Don't forget the 32 inch monitor. <laughs> Man, 32. It's like a TV already. What is that? Oh, people crossing, okay. Thirty-eight inch monitor. What? <laughs> Track hat. It's very good at half the cost. I heard about that. 
yeah there are a lot of alternatives to track IR that are quite good as well I'm not sure if they're as good but for sure they are way way less expensive so if you're in a budget might be worth to check those out why is this like this? it's narrowing out like so very unique roads I tell you very unique roads going through like side roads like this it's quite enjoyable actually or just have the wife one find the mouse for you <laughs> that might require a separate set of earrings <laughs> sorry uh, no regrets though yes exactly someone actually biking there nice add-on man this place this place is, looks so good it looks so real with all the different establishments on the side and all these roads and people ah, so many things happening in this area oh, that's a city yeah that's a city right there beautiful am i going past the traffic light I kind of did. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can go through. Might as well. She can always pan towards Ikea. <laughs> uh, but not, might not be too friendly for the budget. She will just look at the shoe stores. <laughs> Rip. Here is 60, okay. Let's just cruise along. Oh, come on, perfect timing. Mm, my cool is getting worse. Crap. All right, good night, Matza. Thanks a lot for hanging out. <laughs> Enjoy your uh, box, button box. My delivery finally showed up on Discord. Oh, did it? Nice. I thought it would be forever gone. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, 57.35. That's not so bad for a heavy haul. Cool. The uh, 45 inch. What, monitor? How the heck do you see out of that? You have to look like left and right all throughout. What is the perfect size for a monitor? I would guess around 27. Anything bigger might be a bit difficult to see through. I have a 32 inch monitor but your monitor is a TV. <laughs> yeah, I guess it largely depends how far away from the monitor you are. Triple eighty two inch. Okay. I guess that's a church. Telling us to keep to the left. I wonder why. Yeah, let's follow it. Oh, because we're turning left. Okay, makes sense. Very strange. Stetchin. Stetchin is the left TAR. I'm not sure what that why we, there will be a TAR sign. Maybe if you're going to a different country, I don't know, maybe the ferry.
immersion. Yeah, anywhere you look, it would be the monitor, huh? Lunch bells are ringing. I wish. <laughs> yeah, it's time for my lunch. They still have to cook something. Oh, looking good. Looking good. Beautiful bridge. Why is the traffic light here? When the, when the line is over there. So far away. Strange. No pizza and wings. <laughs> no, unfortunately. You know, it's been a while. I guess it's been a few months since I've had pizza. It's uh, not part of the diet. Wings though is okay, mostly. Not so much, but not too bad. Not as bad, at least. Whoa. Yo. Wow. Did he just honk at me? What the heck? And this is where we're going, I think? Yes, looks like. I love driving through here. It is a beautiful area. Super complicated. It's not about speed. It's about finding your way through this uh, urban jungle, I think. You can classify it. Why are we going to city center? Hmm. Okay. And why does this place have a traffic light? When it's like a roundabout type of thing. Right, so we curve somewhere. Okay, this is as confusing as heck. Not, that's not the one, so we curve over there, we loop around, and then we go through a roundabout. <laughs> oh, there's a question mark there. Let's go through that. Are we almost there? Wow. This is 35 kilometers, but this is like the longest 35 kilometers ever. 350? Oh, no, that's because it includes the ferry. Okay, good, good. They're sitting pretty close to the monitor. But the desk is so far away. That's kind of so difficult to reach your keyboard when you put your chair at the perfect angle. I'm trying to imagine that kind of setup. And I can't for now. You know what? Let me go through the other way. Straight through here and turn left at the other side. That might be easier than turning left here. This place is so nice. You use the keyboard to try your uh, try to clamp your wheel on. How does that work? This is a monitor for ads. I had that feeling. I'm using a. I'm just using a 23 inch monitor right now. Oh crap, I think that might be one way. Oh no. We'll see. We'll see. I'm using a 23 inch monitor right now and it's more than enough for me. But when I went back to Manila, I used to have an old desktop there. And it was like a 17 inch or a 19 inch monitor, I think. It felt so little. It felt so weird. Oh, it's one way. Crap. Well, we could probably... There's no one here. And we're in a bit of a rush, so let's... <laughs> let's go against the flow here. Key tray on the desk. Ah, okay. 
I see. Is that why it's electro? Oh yeah, it's a RTV. What's an RTV? I know KTV, but not RTV. Hello, Volvo. Lawbreaker. <laughs> not if no one catches us. I think I can turn off the wipers now. Yeah, going against the flow here. But we're in a bit of a rush, so they'll understand. Hopefully. <laughs> Shh, quiet, quiet. <laughs> no one saw. No one saw. There we go. Okay, at least it's a little bit more understandable now. Karlskrona. Is that where we're going? I think it is. Yes, it is. Good. Okay, so far, so good. Let's keep at it. We saw nothing. GG, exactly. That's, that's how we should be. We're good, guys. Open Year Festival? What the is that? Wow, some really nice stuff going on around here. Really long train there. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's a bit of damage. Crap. So... Okay. Let's slow down here. This looks like a very... Well, not so much. Kind of a steep ride. Let's try not to speed. Okay, good. And from here, we turn a bit left and then immediately turn right. Okay, I wonder what this is. We're going to the festival, seems like. Is it this way? Yeah. Going under the bridge, turning right here, Karlskrona, perfect, so far so good, I like this, this is one of the most exciting cities I've been, I've driven on, so many different things, goodness, okay and then we turn this very sharp right turn here. Stop there. And go. Now where could the icon be? Thanks a lot. Thanks, Scotsman. See you next time, man. Thanks for hanging out. Glad to have you around. Uh, does anyone see the I Oh, there. Is it there? No, this is the resting area. So... Where's the ship? Oh, the ship is there, so we should go there. But how the heck... Oh, there it is. Okay, we just go straight here, I think. Nightman, see you in Discord, yeah. Right on. It's okay, we go straight through. Alright. <laughs> I see. 
Yeah, the GPS isn't really like babysitting us with this one, huh? Letting us figure it out for ourselves. I hope I don't hit this bridge though. It seems a bit too low, to be honest. No, it's good. We're good. Oh no! Crap! Went a bit a bit too long on sightseeing there. Come on! 480 horsepower. Go! Thank you. Ferries up the ramp. Thanks, guys. Right. Now, where is the icon? There it is. Thank you for the host, man. <laughs> See you next time. There we go. Interesting. Okay. This was really worth it. I love that route. Port Dinya to Karlskrona. Ten hours, wow. Should have picked up your Almar SKRs while you were in Poland. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That would have been perfect. And now it's night. But we should be near, I think. Should be almost there. Now in Sweden. How far? 16 kilometers, okay. That's no problem. So things should be much more... Nice car. Stable here. Things should be much more... Much calmer in this place. I guess. Not as action-packed as that city. It does look like it. Very much feels like it. More of a straightforward road now. Yeah, I'll definitely add Poland Rebuilding to the main series. I like it. I like the variety it brings. No Polish confusion. <laughs> yeah, true. It's very different, right? Like, definitely a different vibe here. Which I guess is uh, pretty nice since we did switch countries and all so it should feel different it should feel very different that is awesome man so imagine this was like 30 kilometers driving 16 kilometers of those are in sweden 16 is in poland but the 16 kilometers we spent in poland we spent like 30 minutes doing that for 16 kilometers because that's how how detailed the city was. Just insane. We're almost there, yeah. Good. Nice one, this one. Are we speeding? Yes, we are. When did we enter the border? The city limits, I didn't notice. I'm just cruising all the way. TFTS, is this where we're going? Yes, it is. Good. Alright, here we are. Yeah, much more peaceful. Dance is the most unique city in ETS. I think I'll have to agree. I'm not sure. Yeah, in terms of 
the winding roads I must say that's pretty unique even against Barcelona Barcelona is very unique as well but I'm not sure when I drove through there it was still much more straightforward this one though this one is just pure chaos whoa wait a minute dead end dead end other side slight showness <laughs> right I get that I thought this was like a through and through FPS rip yeah similar to uh, Trieste right made by the same guy he does like his details okay should be here then where is it there it is Oh, don't tell me. We have to do blindside reverse on this. Oh, man. Fine. Or maybe we can manage. We'll see. Maybe we can manage. That's too far. It's too far. Oh, crap. Oops. Oh, I think it's close. But I think we're gonna hit the other trailer. Or maybe not. Oh yes, we did. Crap. <laughs> Worth it for dance alone. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. I'm glad I tried it. Thanks for the recommendation, guys. We'll be seeing more of this in the series. Okay, bring it back. Yes, I'm ending. After this one, just mark this and we'll call it the stream. I'm a few minutes past my normal schedule. There we go. Okay. Excellent. 41 kilometers. Wow. What? 56? Okay, granted, that was like in the city. So mostly first gear, third gear. Stop and go, stop and go. So yeah, I guess that's okay. But yes. So that is Poland rebuilding, guys. For sure, we have it. We still have so many things to explore in this place, but that's basically how it looks like. So hopefully you enjoyed that. But for now, that's going to be it. How do they get only 0.03%? <laughs> I guess we were going that slow. It wasn't damaged at all. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Sheng. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Raiden. And for everyone else in the stream, thank you guys for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed. I surely did. Catch you guys next time on Clumsy Trucking. Till then, have a good night. See you soon. And catch you over at YouTube. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Yes, and have a great weekend as well, Alex. And everyone else. Bye, guys.